Hello. <laughs> this is Identity Releasing Sun. I've got a crazy blessing from the algorithm and overwhelming support on the last weapons video. Ugh. I can't even speak. I'm just thinking about how crazy it is that I've uh, accumulated, what, like 2,000 views out of nowhere out of that field. My subscriber count doubled off of one video. That's crazy, but I've been uh, whipped and, and begged and throttled over making a third part and i will and if you haven't seen part one then you should check it out but part two is what kind of blew this uh should this be a series let me know but I, this these episodes i guess i, I don't even know that <sighs> what no, no. Dude. so i typically have like a fashion where i go <clears throat> receiver barrel uh, mag, stock, grip, and then sight, I believe. That's how I go, but... I could just go in any order. It doesn't really matter. Hmm. <clears throat> Today, I want to have some fun. But for the first thing, I'm going with an AK. This is going to look more like a Galil than anything. <laughs> I don't know anything about AK-12s. I didn't exactly make an AK-12 like I promised, but, you know, this is as close as I can think. It, it doesn't look anything like an AK-12, I know. But, you know, it looks cool. It, I like it. This looks like a legitimate firearm, but we can't have that around here. Have fun trying to pull the trigger on that one. <gasps> oh, that would make a very good conversation starter, but not much of a practical defense tool or hunting tool. I, you know, I really like the grenade launcher. Let me do something with it. I call this the you're not hitting the broad sign of a barn. This is called the you are not going to have a wrist. This is called the good luck trying to find ammo for this, as it's probably not even manufactured anymore. Because the main component, which is the one with the very huge barrel, is in a gauge smaller, quote-unquote, than 4 gauge. 4 gauge is already rare as it is. 1 gauge, 2 gauge, any of those gauges are pretty much not manufactured anymore. You'd have to, like, hand reload those. You'd have to make some bougie-ass fucking, like, rust-crafting-ass fucking version. And uh, the top gun is only for backup when you're reloading the bottom one. Which is strange, because the backup should probably be on the bottom. Nonetheless, good luck Good luck trying to use this. You've heard of Spaz 12, no? With its beautiful folding stock and the like? Well, be prepared for the Frankie Spaz 12,000. Because this thing doesn't fucking run out of ammo. And if you are very familiar with a Frankie Spaz 12's design, you would know that the magazine and tube can work at the same time. It is also a pump or semi-auto and this thing is for the most afraid of gun owners this thing has a useless bayonet to match although you can always take off the bayonet and use it so you know what i'll chalk it up as storage you know i'll, I'll chalk it up as making it more front heavy why not you know as like the mauser c96 rifle can hold a mauser c96 pistol in it, it uh, Good lord, uh, I'm actually gonna say I'm actually gonna save this abomination. Why not? All right, uh, I'm gonna do a quick challenge. I'm gonna see how many different gun parts from like different brands. Like, okay, not not brands, but patterns. Like, let's say a stock of an AK pattern, uh, the I don't know the carry handle sights of an M4 pattern, the mag of of an MP7 pattern. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and mix and match parts and see how good I can make it look. It could be cursed. It could be blessed. But then I'm going to double curse it right after, if it is cursed already. So I have an MP5 pattern barrel and gas block to match. And now I cannot use any MP5 parts after this. AK pattern receiver. I haven't used an M4 part. You know what? Why not? I'm a bit of a retarded nerd. Oh, wait. I can't use that, can I? This grip is from, an, is from a Heckler & Quote uh, PSG-1 sniper rifle. And that is the same brand as an MP5. Did I say pattern, though? Because if anything, this isn't an M MP5 pattern, so I should be allowed to use it. I'm going to make it as cursed as possible. <laughs> an FN stock, okay. I don't think this has a brand. You know what, since the sights are not really any gun manufacturer brands, I'm just going to throw on something moderately nice. Okay, well, I tried using a different pattern, different weapon patterns for each part, and this is what I came up with. Would this be efficient in the battlefield? Probably not. Will I make it less efficient right now? Most definitely. I call this the Atomic Krinkov.
you're going to probably need someone at the front to pull the trigger for you, but you have absolute stability and you have absolute range. Chambered in a fucking 50, not 50, but 51 BMG, because fuck you. You're going to absolutely need two people to shoot this like a punt gun, and it's not going to be pleasant. But will it be effective? Yes. Will it be outdated very quickly? Absolutely. And you know what's going to be outdated by? This bad boy I'm building next. Now you're probably wondering to yourself, what is this mongoloid going to build now? If you guessed an AK-50, you know what? <laughs> you're absolutely right. And this thing's actually kind of beautiful. I might have made Brandon Herrera proud. And now I'm going to disgrace him. I call this the what weight slanders do to Brandon Herrera's AK-50 after the bombs drop. I call this the urban pocket rocket. I call this the muzzle flash is going to be more effective than wherever the bullet tumbles to. This bad boy will absolutely give you arthritis within a week. And if it doesn't give you... Well, actually, no, you know what? No, 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 no. I was going to say, it would give you arthritis within a week if you're even rich enough to shoot that much ammo. Oh, let's get off the AK-50 topic for some fucking... You know, I'm not saying it. We're out of here. You know what? I'm going to try and give myself 60 seconds to make a random weapon. I'm going to start the timer. No. Okay. I call this the it looks like you're shooting a New York subway car in your hand. This this thing looks like a bullet train. I don't I don't know why, I just can't explain it. There's something there's something quite mesmerizing about this. Can I, should I mess it up or should I leave it be? I think I should... I mean, it's kind of cool, right? This might still have some kind of purpose. I'm not too sure what it would be, but... You know, you could, like, stick the knife in the dirt and it, like, stabilizes a little bit more. I don't, I don't know. Like, go prone and just use the knife as, like, a stabilizer? Oh, this is forever cursed. Mm. I might do just, like, one more. By the way, please let me know if this should be a series or not, because I'm not going to lie, I kind of stopped my current upload queue for this, to just make this video specifically, because everyone just keeps asking for it. So why not? Why not? But I do have some Vice City videos in mind, and if this becomes a staple of my channel, fuck it, I'll do some, some Weapon Builder alongside Vice City. You know, I, I do love this, it's a fun time killer, and I will put the link in the description for this game. It's pretty, it's pretty clever, it's just not updated really anymore. Unfortunate, because it seems like they're missing parts. Hmm. What am I going to spawn next? You know, I had to make something that I might use in, like, Modern Warfare 19, but... This actually looks kind of fun to use, despite being a little wacky. It, it still looks like it might serve a purpose, and we can't have that around here. We really can't. I call this... The Pool Check. You use this to fish dead animals out of your pool. This thing serves no purpose, as it is a single-shot... 45 ACP with, I don't know, that that could easily be another 30-inch barrel. I need to break the record because we, we keep breaking even at 30 inches. I need something I need something crazier sometime soon. I'm thinking next video. But we're going we're gonna to stick around and make just, just one more. Just, just one more. Why not? You know, I, I'm going to make a fan favorite. If you've noticed a theme in the thumbnails of this series, you would tell what's my favorite gun. Oh boy, the MAC-10. I don't know why the game says it's an Uzi, but, you know, I'll be damned. I guess this is an Uzi. You know, I'm just like, why not? Let's make a moderately usable Mac 10. You know, something quite interesting, something that might or might not have been done before, but... You know, overall, just kind of classy, you know, practical. And I must destroy the MAC-10 as much as I love it. I call this the Back Heavy Terror Town Reloader. This thing is a shredder, and it's going to go through the entire mag in 1.2 seconds. Therefore, you must have ammo in sight in front of your peripheral and ready to go. You know, forget putting ammo on your rig or behind you under your bag. Nah. Fuck it, we're mounting it on our guns. Just like how you load a slug or a buck or whatever on your shotgun. You know, just like how you load your fucking... Uh, your damn your damn rifle cartridges on your bolt-action sniper rifle. Yeah, well, this is the urban version. This is the most ghetto, hood-rich version of that I can think of. This is an Annihilator, and I call this the Terror Town. Honestly, though, it still looks kind of nice and moderately practical, despite that wacky backsight. 
If I undo all of that and put this side forward, this actually looks pretty usable. And if I throw the mag to be a little bit less exaggerated, like that, it looks cool. And around here, forget about it. This thing is super practical. You collapse the stock, you're good to go. This actually looks quite usable. I'm, I'm fucking with it. Anyways, this has been Identity Releasing Sun with another shitty banger. Please, please, please let me know what videos you guys want to see. If you guys want to see me build cursed guns on Call of Duty and use them, COD Mobile, you know, uh, I can get into Tarkov whenever I have my PC and make cursed guns there. If cursed guns is what this channel is supposed to supply, I will supply cursed guns on any sort of game, not just weapon builder. Anyways, another shitty banger down the toilet. See you later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.